so this week for Stories and Steam, our packets were all about space. So we learned all about the moon and the sun and earth and the planets and all of the stars. So I don't know if you guys have a favorite. Um, I have always loved the stars and constellations and getting to go outside and see which ones I like can see. Orion is probably the easiest to spot. Uh, Gemini is one of my other favorites. There's lots of great ones. Cassiopeia. So I encourage you guys to look at the night sky um, and see the stars, but also see the moon. So today we're going to be talking about the moon. So I have here a book called I Took the Moon for a Walk by, for a walk by Carolyn Curtis and Allison J. And then we are going to learn about how moons like how the moon gets its craters. So if you look at the moon, it has like all these indents in it, right? It look like something hit it. So we are gonna look at how those are caused. But we are gonna read this first. I took the moon for a walk. Again, this is written by Carolyn Curtis and the illustrations, so the pictures, are by Allison J. I took the moon for a walk last night. It followed behind like a still summer kite, though there wasn't a string or a tail in sight when I took the moon for a walk. I carried my own light just in case and the moon got scared and hid his face. What's your scared faces? So he's got his own light and look, his light is showing us we see his light. We see an owl from his light. Oh, and there's a squirrel over here. But it peeked through the clouds that were fragile as lace when I took the moon for a walk. I warned the moon to rise a bit higher so it wouldn't get hooked on a church's tall spire. And the dogs of the town made a train whistle choir when I took the moon for a walk. We tiptoed through grass where the night crawlers creep when the rust-bellied robins have all gone to sleep. And the moon called the dew so the grass seemed to weep when I took the moon for a walk. We raced for the swings where I kick my feet and imagine the moon has, has just asked me to fly. And do you guys know what planet? We have a planet up here. Which one is that? So it's got its ring, so Saturn. All right. Hand holding hand through the starry night sky when I took the moon for a walk. We danced across the bridge where the smooth water flows, the moon was above and the moon was below. You can see its reflection in the water. And bright in between them, I echoed their glow when I took the moon for a walk. Then, as we turned back, the moon kept me in sight. It followed me home and it stayed there all night and thanked me by shining its sweet, sleepy light when I took the moon for a walk. And so that was I took the moon for a walk. And this is our full moon. You can see I have a full moon here and all the different pieces. So we have when there's nothing in the sky, that's what's called a new moon. So we have our full moon and we have our crescent moon's quarter or half moon. This is a gibbous. And these are waxing, which means they're getting bigger. And then when they're getting smaller, it's called waning. So waxing and waning. All right. So to look at why we have craters, what we need is a tray. I'm going to use this box, actually. All right. So I'm going to use the bottom of a box. And then you're going to need flour and something brown so cocoa powder works good i'm gonna use coffee grounds so cocoa powder cinnamon coffee grounds any of that will work and then if you have ping pong balls or golf balls something to make impact all right so what i'm gonna use actually you can just use a rock but i'm gonna use some 
potatoes actually for mine, all right? So what we're gonna do, the first step is to pour our flour into our tray, all right? You can see that, and you're gonna wanna make it a nice level, make sure it covers the whole bottom, all right? All right, all right, so we've got the bottom of our tray and it is nice and white. And what we're gonna do is do a layer next of, remember I'm using coffee grounds. You guys can do this with cocoa powder, with um, cinnamon, anything that'll make another layer. So this is kind of like our moon surface is what this is representing, all right? So we've got two layer, layers of surface. And you just wanna make sure you get a nice even layer where you don't see, it's okay if there's a little bit of white, but not too much, all right? So this is our moon surface. And basically the reason that there are craters is that what happens is rocks and other space debris hits our moon and it creates these impact spaces, all right? Are you guys ready to see what happens when something impacts our moon? Ready, three, two, one. So you can see mine actually it hit once and then hit again. And so there's a, you can see how it creates that dent and you get those craters. And if you hit in different ways, right? If I drop straight down, kind of makes just a straight bladder. If I do it more at an angle, you'll notice those rays kind of shoot out just one way. Ready? Again, three, two, one. But you guys, that one made a nice big impact with all those rays shooting out that way. And scientists measure these and they can figure out how big the rock was, even if it's not there anymore, they can figure out how fast it was going, what direction it was traveling, all kinds of stuff. So this is a fun experiment you guys can try at home if you guys have these ingredients, all right? I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how craters are made and that that was fun and maybe you guys can try that. I hope you enjoyed our book. Remember we read, I took the moon for a walk and it was by Carolyn Curtis with pictures by Allison J. All right. So remember, we are open for curbside, so you can call us for books um, and movies. And we also have our to-go packets uh, outside, so you don't have to call for those. You just come and grab them. Um, and we also have book bundles that you can call us for. All right. I hope you guys are staying safe and having a wonderful start to your summer and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys soon remember to follow us on facebook so that you can stay up to date on any news about what is happening at the library all right thanks bye guys